Well, hello, everyone, and welcome into Tech Sags Rewind presented by Yeti. Uh, why is Richard Zane behind me like that? The real question is, David, why not? He did that live on air. So, Well, it's interesting. I can see what he's thinking. That's the angle I have. I can see exactly what he's thinking. Yeah. But, yeah that's not a good look, but it's a great look. Yeah. Hey, uh, we had, Nick, we had a fun show today. Uh, well, it actually started off a little sad. A little sad. Um, but... Uh, Overall, we finished on a high note. We had Corton in the studio. Yeah, Brian Corton talking about uh, the uh, regional they had. Uh, great comeback. It's a lot of fun to hear his perspective. Had the baseball bunch. That was a sad bit, right? Uh, Aaron Torres talking a little uh, college football. And, hey, there's going to be a mystery category because I need to figure out what we're going to put at the end. So As long as it's not the whole top 10 hip-hop list. Is that your executive order? No, you can do whatever you want. I don't care. Okay. I, you know, I... I don't have to watch the rewinds because I live the rewinds. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But you who are watching this, I appreciate you watching it. Watch it again. I want to apologize to Schloss in person <laughs> and shake his hand and like this on me. But the reality is, it's not on me. I have nothing to do with it. Uh, yeah, we've tried all that this year. Um, we've changed the seating arrangements. Uh, we've done, Richard's done crazy stuff in the game thread. Yeah, like uh, it, it just doesn't work. For whatever reason, it just, it, it isn't working. And I, I I will join you in your taking ownership and taking some accountability and responsibility. I said it last week on the show, maybe earlier this week. I, I missed in the preseason, clearly. Yep. Um, I might not have been the only one that missed in the preseason, but my job as the baseball analyst at Texas is not to miss or miss this badly. Uh, and, I, and we have. And the, look, the season is not over, but one more loss, it is over, um, barring a, an SEC yep. tournament run, uh, which would, looks like the most highly unlikely of circumstances uh, for this club. For whatever reason, uh, we can go through it, but, and I think there's kind of a conglomeration of, of what's happened. Uh, there's not one thing that has led to just an extremely up and down frustrating season, more downs than ups. Like we have seen last night more often than we've seen Saturday against Florida or Sunday against Florida. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or even Friday against Alabama, the first game one against Alabama, they played really well. And then they have three absolute stinkers. They got run ruled twice by Alabama. And last night, man, to lose that game, so not only we and Richards got all the stats from it, and which it's bizarre that AM lost that game with the numbers the way they are. But not only that, you lost it and you fired all your best bullets mm -hmm. and lost it. Yeah. You fired Evan Oshenbeck, you fired Brandon Garcia, you fired Will Johnston, all of those guys, like in the best case scenario coming into the weekend, you were thinking, man, that'd be awesome if AM could go out get eight or nine runs, and, and win a game nine to one on Friday night. Do you see the ACC surviving this? Because there is a long-term contract. That being said, real smart lawyer is going to find ways to maneuver out of it, I, I, I feel. So I, I don't doubt that they're trying. My only pushback would be I can say with certainty those same lawyers from many of those same schools have literally been trying to get out of that contract since the day that Texas and Oklahoma announced they were leaving, or I should even say since the day it was reported that Texas and Oklahoma were leaving for the SEC. Listen, you know, I, I think we get so caught up in the moment in life, but those two or three days after Texas and Oklahoma left, I mean, you remember, David, it was I mean, it was probably right when you were starting doing Texas. It was a free-for-all of, you know, I think Miami's going here, and look out for Clemson and Florida State there, and you know, obviously, you know, the, the, you know, we didn't know at the time the USC-UCLA stuff. And so, you know, I don't doubt that all those schools are looking for better options, but I think they've been looking for better options for a long time. And so I'm not going to sit here and say that it's going to take until 2036 for the ACC to break up, which is when the, the, the length of their current TV contract runs, which, by the way, is insane. I said on my podcast, that's probably the worst uh, act. You know, that's probably the worst piece of paper since the Louisiana Purchase. Like, I don't know how you sign a, you know, whatever it was, probably twenty, you know, fifteen year, um, you know, TV contract back whenever it was signed with thirteen years to go. The Big Ten, the Big Twelve, and I believe even the SEC are going to be able to renegotiate before the ACC does. So, to answer your question, I have no doubt lawyers are working. I have no doubt they've been working. 
I just don't know if they're going to be able to get out of it because remember, David, this this contract was written like it's easy now to say, oh, what a terrible contract like I just did. But it was written the way that it was at that time because those 15 schools wanted security and comfort of knowing that they had a place to be for for an extended period of time. Give me the words to talk about what what you're feeling as this is all unfolding, this comeback is happening. Well, I mean, we we talked about it, you know, Tuesday night. Like, we we knew that we had the ability to shoot what we thought would get through, which would be 20 under. Um, We got almost there. We got to 17, and that happened to get us in a playoff. But we talked about it. We didn't shy away from where we were. We knew we dug ourselves a hole, and and it was our own doing. It was, you know, our guys are pretty stand up guys. They don't they don't make excuses. They they know that they weren't doing what they needed to do to be successful this week. So, um, and it took them a while to get there. I mean, it took forty five holes for them to get it all wrapped into a pretty package, and then they uh, they chased it down there for a couple hours and were great. Was there a point where you're like, we might do this? Yeah, when. When Sam made that putt, we got in a playoff. Yeah. <laughs> it, it took that long. But, um, you know, I mean, our guys kept battling. And, I, you know, in my head, I was like, I held out hope. But, you know, I was thinking, well, I guess I would get to see Bo graduate. I mean, he graduates, you know, 26 from College Station High School. And I have never seen, you know, I didn't see my other son graduate. So I was like, I guess I'll see that. But, you know, I'm kind of trying to calm myself down. Right. But, you know, Fast and I kept doing what we do. We just coach these guys and answer questions and help them out when they're golf course. And, Man, finally things started kind of going our way. We made a couple birdies on, you know, twelve and thirteen, and Sammy made one on eleven, and then we made two or three on fourteen, and man, it just kind of kept adding up. And we're, you know, I kind of refresh the screen. I'm like, man, we're five or six shots, and we're still like, you know, three teams are ahead of us. Right. But we're but the gap is narrowed, and we had par fives to play, along with Clemson and San Diego State. So I knew that, felt pretty confident that one of our, our three teams were going to get through. Um, because of the par fives we had in front of us, so, um, and we, we, of the one thing we did all week, every day we played the par fives well. We were the best or second best for the whole, you know, regional there. So, um, I felt like, man, if there's ever a chance to make this kind of comeback, we got it. We got one hour to do it, and, and the last three holes they did it. I think Kanye's higher than Little Wayne. Okay. I mean, I like I like Little Wayne's a top ten artist, no doubt. I think Kanye's higher than Little Wayne, no doubt. Okay. Six, Notorious B.I.G. Biggie! Never had a bad rhyme, ever. Christopher Wallace, the great Christopher Wallace, never had a bad rhyme. Too short uh, of a career. Outside of the top five, though? Is that fair? Uh, I, he would be in my top five. Okay. Fair enough. Five, Eminem. Eminem might be my number one. Okay. Yeah, like, I mean, from a pure lyricist, longevity, a place in, in overcoming, like, that guy, yeah, he's, he's, he's there. Four, Tupac. Yeah, I mean, Pac and Big and M. <laughs> we're getting to to some of the legends. Uh, I, again, I still I, Pac probably should be number one, even though I think Eminem is my number one. But what, 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 Pac was what three? Pac was four. Four. Okay. Oh wow, who's gonna be ahead of him? Three. Nas. Or is it Nas? Yeah. It is Nas. Okay. Nas. <laughs> Nas um, lyrically is in your top three. I would say place in history, top five. I would put Pac ahead of him. I would put Biggie ahead of him. Go ahead. Okay. Two, Kendrick Lamar. Again, kind of more my Kendrick time. Kendrick Lamar, yeah. I, look, I, I don't think I'm qualified to talk about Kendrick Lamar, but he there is no Kendrick Lamar without those dudes. So Kendrick Lamar would be right outside of my top five. Any, and, I, and I don't put Kendrick in front of Drake. Absolutely not. Yeah. And I don't put him in front of Ye. But any, I, I think he's great. Any guess who number one is? Um, I hope they don't consider Dr. Dre the number one rapper of all time. I think he's a hip hop m- mogul. Who, who's number one? Jay Z. Oh, I'm a, I'm totally fine with Hove being number one. Totally fine with okay. it. Okay. I, I I don't think he's my number one, but that's he's not a business man. He's a business man. Yeah. Totally. Well, thank you. You know David. what I mean? I, I, you know what I mean by that line? It's a lyric, yeah. But what does it mean? He he's a business man. His name. He's not a businessman like people that work in business. He is the business man. All right, Nick. People don't know what to do. Tell them. Like, comment, subscribe, visit Yeti, uh, watch our shorts, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and then uh, have a good weekend. Tell Bronny I can see what he's texting right now, and I don't like what he's writing. Oh, I just put his phone oh, down. It doesn't work anymore. Never mind. See you guys next time.